This is a story that me and my aunt wrote once. Well, I wrote it, but she, I, she knew how to tie it back then. I didn't because I was like, I don't know, young. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna read this book. The McCord Phone. Here we're gonna here we're gonna read um, about a, It's about a superhero who can control water. It's called Rain Man Two: Attack of His Dad. Uh, this is the sequel to Rain Man One, which was never actually written. I wrote the sequel first. I was a weird kid. All right, Rain Man Two: Attack of His Dad, written and illustrated by Comic Cord. I I wrote it. And I draw these. She typed all this, and then I drew on the on the pages, I guess. Starring Rain Man, Blue Goblin, Hat Man, John, Stretchability Guy, Fireman, Mutant, and Rain Man's Dad. How the Rain Man life begins. A mutant who works for Blue Goblin tries to kill Rain Man. Blue Goblin helps his assistant. Fireman helps Rain Man. I thought they'd be nice together, like a contrast, you know, like, you know, Batman is a bat, and Robin's a, like, a blue bird. Oh, I, sh I should show you the pictures as well. This is the fight between, um, Blue Goblin and his assistant versus Fireman and Rain Man. I'm gonna read it like a teacher now, so you guys can see the illustrations. This is, Blue Goblin goes to the warehouse and goes up the elevator. Rain Man and Fireman go up to catch him. This building says Eric. Uh, I thought that'd be a nice name for the building. Uh, because that's my uncle's name. And I was at his house writing this story. Color Glider shoots lots of colored weapons. Rain Man shoots rain down. Fire Man shoots fire down. Rain Man punches Blue Goblin in the face. This is the fight. Right here. It's very, it's very epic. Rain... See the colored glider shoots color sound. I think I might have been slightly inspired by Spider-Man to make uh, Blue Goblin and his color glider. Don't sue me, Marvel. Electricity shoots all around. Oh, okay. This is just. I think this is just later. I don't even know. Let's see. Okay, this is just a. This is just later. Uh, he's going to fight another villain. Uh, okay, electricity shoots all around. Rain Man goes through the electricity and breaks through a window. This is a tower, and this is where the other villain is. This is Rain Man with his <laughs> blue claw, with his red claws, climbing up the tower in a lightning storm of purple rain. As the glass break, uh, <laughs> as the glass breaks, formula falls out and back inside. The formula hits Hat Man. Hat Man tries to shoot, but Rain Man stops him with his powers. This is a fight inside the top of the tower. Um, formula breaking, and then it it falls somewhere back out, and then inside or something. And then later, uh, Rain Man and Fire Man are fighting the Sword Man named John. That's John. Oh wait, no wait. Uh, I don't know. Someone's John. That guy's got swords. I think he's John. And so Sword Man named John is fighting them. Once again, I just kind of told this story and didn't even finish the story about Hatman and didn't even go back to the story about Blue Goblin and his assistant. Okay. Back to the Blue Goblin fight or some other Blue Goblin fight. Rain Man and Fire Man are shooting up a wall. I, I don't even see that here. I don't know if I mean climbing or what. When the Blue Goblin appears with Color Glider. Blue Goblin throws a bomb to kill them. But it hits Rain Man's shield and kills Blue Goblin. Rain Man takes off Blue Goblin's mask. He finds out that it was his dad trying to kill him. And then I've written here because I um, forgot to write it, I guess. I wrote in pencil in superhero mode. So um, Rain Man's dad was trying to kill him in superhero mode. Here is um, that fight as well. Here's a bomb with a smiley face on it, inspired by Hobgoblin from Spider-Man. I'm a, I'm a pretty big Spider-Man fan. Not anymore though. Like I, I guess I was when a kid, when I was a kid, because I still remember stuff. So Rain Man took his dad to the doctor to try and save his life. It says they went to the doctor to save, to have him save his life. I didn't know how to use pronouns. 
The Doctor is one of Rain Man's arch enemies. Stretchability guy. And so here's uh, Stretchability guy fighting Rain Man in the hospital, and then Color Glider is right here for some reason. Rain Man's dad is on the bed, like a gurney. Stretchability guy is trying to kill Rain Man with electricity. I don't know why he has the power of electricity. He sounds like a Mr. Fantastic. Stretchability guy is trying to kill Rain Man with electricity, but Rain Man uses his water against him. It sounds like they both be dead. Rain Man's dad throws a bomb. Rain Man's dad is alive because the bomb hits his mask instead. Oh, that's saying that earlier when, when the bomb hit him, it hit his mask instead of his head. So he's, he's totally fine, even though a bomb went off. And then it says, to be continued. So, this is my... Uh, I was pretty good at writing, apart from a couple of errors and stuff that didn't make any sense in the fact that I didn't know how to story tell. Uh, the grammar was pretty good, and I don't know if that can be really contributed to the fact that I was really good at grammar in kindergarten, or the fact that my aunt <laughs> knows how to type better than a seven-year-old. Might be that. So this is like a ten-year-old story now, or probably older. I've had this thing forever, and I'm never gonna get rid of it, because I love this story so much. It's like the best, it's, it's this, this enduring tale of triumph, you know, about this guy who finds out that his dad is trying to kill him, but then he, he still wants to save his dad because he loves him, of course, and so, you know, they go to the hospital and they, they fight a stretch ability guy who can shoot electricity out of his hands or some nonsense like the Emperor from Star Wars. In the end his dad is alive, ticks over into the next. The last good remnants of... If I was your boyfriend I'd never let you go. <laughs> what was the lyrics again? That's about it. <laughs> I can hear myself, this is hilarious. Remember I called this, this video, Kyle goes to the dentist. For their crimes against humanity. This is Music Theory, Volume 1. Pop music. For the most part, I hate music in the mainstream.